So we have already seen image to image how we add noise to an image and then denoise it through stable diffusion to get, uh, get a variant of an image. And uh, depending on the image strength, we either get a completely different image or an image that resembles closely with the input image. But sometimes uh, we don't want to change the whole image, but only a section of an image. What do we do then? This one in painting comes in. Apart from image in image to image section, in painting also takes a mask. This mask outlines the section of the image where we want to make the edits. So when the image comes out, only the portion that is masked changes, rest remains the same. For this, we have specially trained AI models, which are specifically fine-tuned on in-painting tasks. Playground AI switches to in-painting models behind the scene, so we don't have to worry about it. The in-painting model takes a prompt, the original image, and a mask. Internally, they do the same iterative denoising process, but they gradually use the original image for the unmasked area and generated new image for the masked area. In the end, we have an image that replaces only a particular portion of the image which is masked and does not change the portion of the image which is not masked. We can use this technique to either replace an object, to add to uh, an existing image, or to remove something from uh, an image. For example, here we have replaced an object. Here we have an image uh, where a Viking is wearing a helmet. We want to replace a helmet with a baseball cap, but we want the Viking warrior to be the same. We create a mask covering the helmet portion of the image, modify the prompt to say wearing a baseball cap, and click generate. We get the results as Viking warrior wearing a baseball cap with helmet replaced with cap. Similarly, if there are undesirable portions in the image, we can cover them with mask and click on generate. Most likely, they will be smoothed out and removed. Like for example, here we have some sort of a um, some sort of an undesirable image over here. Uh, so the image that was generated didn't really like uh, did the task properly. We uh, we add a mask to it using the same prompt. We click generate, and uh, once the image is out, this particular portion is smoothed out and becomes the part of the generated image. Another example, uh, we have uh, a scenery with two hot air balloons, which are sort of undesirable. We create a mask around them and click on generate again. And this time it removes it and uh, the image feels natural. Similarly, like we can make additions to an image. For example, here we want to add a saucer to this particular image, we create a mask where we want to add the saucer, modify the prompt, click on generate, and it generates uh, the same image with the mask area, adding a saucer to it. Similarly, this image that we basically created in the last, uh, last slide, we want to add a rising sun to it. We create a mask, we want to show the rising sun, and then uh, we can actually add it to the prompt, saying a rising sun, along with the original prompt, and it's going to generate an image with a rising sun. This way, we can use in painting to either replace, add, or remove objects from an image.